At this point in time, we're seeing the effects of a worldwide pandemic, an everything shortage, a mass resignation, and now we're also feeling the effects of a war that may or may not end anytime soon. The point is, is that things don't look that great. But just because things look a little bit grim and there's a lot of uncertainty in the air doesn't mean that you should just sit idly by and wait until things get better to invest your time, energy, and efforts into making money that you can grow in the future. There are always different ways to make money, regardless of what's going on with the economy, with inflation, with interest rates, with the world, or with any type of global shortage. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some recession-proof side hustles that you should look at pursuing if you're somebody who wants to make money this year, regardless of what's happening in the economy. So let's get started. Now, let me give you a few examples of what a recession-proof business is. That way you have some context before we dive in. Now, an example of a business that is not recession-proof would be like a fine dining restaurant. The reason is, is because if you're somebody who has lost your job or you could lose your job, you're probably gonna be cutting your spending. And if you're looking to cut your spending, then you're gonna cut those dinners out. You're not gonna go to fancy restaurants. If anything, you may get some fast food, but you're certainly not gonna go to fine dining or casual restaurants. Because of that, these segments are hit particularly hard during times of a recession or economic downturn. On the other side, though, is the complete opposite, and that is a recession-proof business, which in this example would be a grocery store. If somebody is not eating out because of the fact that they lost their job and thus they need to cut their spending, well, they still have to eat. We have to eat regardless of how much money we're making. So a grocery store is a place that not only survives recessions, but they typically end up being extremely successful during times of recessions because of the fact that if people aren't eating out, they're eating at home more, and thus they'll need more groceries. Now, these are just two examples. There are a lot of different businesses and industries out there that are and are not recession proof. But what I want to focus on in this video is targeting recession proof side hustles. These are all side hustles that will be able to withstand any type of economic downturn, any type of recession. And the best part is all of these can be scaled into full fledged businesses as well. Number one on this list is a handyman. This is one that is an extremely good and extremely lucrative side hustle to get started in if we do go into a recession. Session. The reason is, is because if the economy is in a downturn, people are significantly more likely to fix their current belongings rather than replace their belongings with new ones if they break. Think about it in the context of yourself. If you've lost your job and you need to be conscious of your spending and your dishwasher breaks, are you gonna be more likely to just replace that dishwasher with a new one? Or are you gonna be more likely to fix it and pay a guy a couple hundred bucks to come out and repair it? You are gonna be much more likely to simply fix it and hold off buying a new one as long as you can. This is why a handyman side hustle is a really great one to start during an economic downturn. It's particularly great if you're somebody that is very well-versed and diverse in your crafts. And if you're somebody that can kind of be an all-in-one solution, I think that this could be incredibly lucrative. Number two on this list is Turo. Now, I know, I know, I know, but I had to include Turo on this list. Now, Turo is one of the unique ones, I think, because of the fact that Turo isn't inherently recession-proof. There are certain Turo business models that are definitely not recession-proof, but there are others that definitely are. For example, if you run a Turo fleet where most of your renters are people who are on vacation, tourists, people who are traveling, then chances are your business model probably isn't that recession proof because of the fact that if people are having to cut their spending, they're probably going to cut that spring break vacation first. But alternatively, if you're somebody who rents to local renters who need a car to get from point A to point B, who need a car for a special occasion, like a job interview, or who needs a car because their car is broken or in the shop, these are all considered to be recession proof business models that you can use Turo to implement. I know I've talked about it a lot on the channel before, so I won't beat it like a dead horse again, but I truly, truly believe that the low-end economy business model is definitely a recession-proof business model. Throughout the pandemic, I continued to have renters, I continued to make money, and I think a huge part of that is because of the fact that I, number one, target local renters, number two, my cars are very affordable, and number three, I'm targeting those people that need a car regardless of how much money they have. Next up is to flip items, and this is another industry that absolutely thrives during time 
times of economic downturn, it doesn't just survive, but it booms. When money is tight, secondhand selling absolutely explodes because it's one of the ways that people try to cut their spending. Rather than spending $20 on a new shirt for their child, they'll instead go secondhand and buy the exact same shirt for $5. Or if it's your kid's or family member's birthday, instead of buying their birthday gift brand new, they can save 50% of the cost and buy it used secondhand. Now, whenever it comes to what type of niche or industry you should choose, honestly, most secondhand niches end up doing quite well during times of recession, even niches that are considered to be a bit more frivolous. For example, game consoles. This is definitely not a need, it is absolutely a want, but if somebody is wanting to buy their child a game console for their birthday and they are low on money, they will definitely opt to buy it secondhand rather than brand new. So even though this is considered to be a frivolous, wanted purchase, not a need by any stretch of the imagination, it's still an industry that thrives during an economic downturn. But in my opinion, I think that the one kind of foolproof niche is children's clothing and children's toys. Because regardless of what's going on in the economy, parents still need to buy stuff for their kids. Kids still need toys to some degree. They need clothes, they need supplies, and all of this can be sold secondhand at a discount. And it's a win-win for both the parent who is buying and for you who is selling. Number four on this list is one of my favorite business models out there, and that is a mobile mechanic. On the exact same thought process of a handyman, people are significantly more likely to get their car fixed rather than replace it during a time of a recession. Again, think about it from the context of yourself. If things are looking bleak, if there's a chance you're gonna lose your job in the coming months, would you want to buy a new car? The answer is no. You're much more likely to just fix your beater cash car that you already have, and that's why during times of recession, mechanic shops and mobile mechanics absolutely explode. Now, I love the business model of a mobile mechanic because I think that as we as a society have kind of shifted to like this delivery mode, people can get everything delivered to their door. I think that mobile mechanics is kind of that one niche that hasn't been properly tapped. In fact, I am so obsessed with this business model that last year I was like this close to starting a mobile mechanic company. I even created a business plan. I like lined everything up correctly, but then I ultimately decided that I didn't have the time. So HP and I put it on hold, but I'm just begging somebody to steal this idea and do it because I think that there is so much opportunity here. There's a lot of different ways you can monetize a mobile mechanic company. And during times of recession, during times of economic downturn, this would be a really great time to start it. And number five on this list is one that's considered to be a little bit more non-traditional, at least in the context of this channel, and that is to simply just start a business. The reality is you don't have to rely on a side hustle in order to make money, and a recession will present a ton of different opportunities that you can take advantage of to start a full-fledged business operation. A few different ideas that you could pursue could be number one, a business in the freight and shipping industry. Freight and shipping has a really timeless reputation. It consistently does well, and even whenever we're struggling economically, people still need things shipped to them, which is where freight and shipping services come in handy. Number two is any service-based businesses, particularly in an industry or niche that is never going to go away. For example, electrical, plumbing, restoration, these are all considered to be really timeless, really recession-resistant industries that are great ones that you can pursue. Number three is healthcare and senior services. We don't stop getting old just because the economy is struggling and everybody needs healthcare services. Everybody needs senior services and that's never going to go away anytime soon. And last but not least is candy and alcohol industry. Funny enough, candy sales and alcohol sales absolutely explode during a recession. And the reason is, is quite honestly a bit sad, but it makes sense if somebody is depressed, if they're not making money, if they lost their job, they either A, may eat their feelings away or B, drink their feelings away, which is why these two respective industries absolutely explode during hard economic times. Of course, the type of industry you choose is totally up to you, but a recession absolutely presents tons of different opportunities that you can definitely take advantage of. Like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some insight into some of the different paths that you can pursue moving forward. I know that what's currently going on with the economy, with inflation, with the war, with the shortage all of it is leaving everybody a little bit anxious, including myself. But just because the economy isn't looking great doesn't mean that you have to stop making money. And all of these different options that I've spoken about in this video are great options to pursue. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.